Mmm, it's an orange juice. Okay, so the probabilities may seem a little confusing, and while I was opening the boxes, they seemed very, very confusing. But it, it's all really easy when you break it down. Basically, you get at least a hologram per pack. So I got 28 holograms. Of those 28 holograms, 25 were rares, three were epics out of 24 packs. So it gets confusing when you start talking about the parallels. You have regular commons, which have a brown background. Usually there are about five of them in a pack. Then you have the violet commons. These usually appear inside one out of two booster packs. Indigo commons are roughly one out of five booster packs. Blue is where it gets serious. And these are limited edition with a number at the top indicating which number you own and how many of these rarities there are. 1 in 50 booster packs have a blue common. Green common odds are 1 in 125 booster packs. These are way more rare than a base legendary. Yellow ones appear 1 in every 247 packs. Orange are pulled around once every 493 packs. And red are the juiciest ones. 1 in 12,250 booster packs contains one common red background. The base rares are always guaranteed. There will always be one rare per pack. The parallel odds are a little bit different though. A crown chest rare pulls one in every 226 packs. Logo shield foil gets pretty rare. One in 450 booster packs. Then you have the mega rare. One in 12,024 packs will have a rare gem foil. We don't know the exact rarities of base epics, but on my last video, I pulled three epics out of 24 booster packs. The epic logo shield has the same probability as a rare logo shield. One in 450 packs. The epic gem foil is incredibly hard to find, only appearing once every 12,024 booster packs. The regular base legendaries that are not parallel limited edition ones appear one in every 48 packs. Pretty easy. But the legendary gem foil parallels spawn once every 17,500 booster packs. To be clear, one in 17,000 packs give you a very high chance to pull a legendary gem foil. That is one in 105,000 cards. That is a 0.0009% chance to get a legendary gem foil. 0.3 chance to get a legendary. Let's, let's do the math here. There are 15 legendaries in the game. On average, you will obtain all 15 legendaries after 50 tries. Okay, so legendary, it's not that bad. If you spend $140 on the jumbo pack, this means that you're guaranteed a legendary every 48 packs or one jumbo hobby pack. You can't just buy 15 jumbo packs and expect all 15 legendaries. You will get duplicates. The calculations indicate that on average, you will need to buy 50 jumbo packs to obtain all 15 legendaries. The total cost of 50 jumbo packs is $7,000. How about a gem foil pack? One in 17,500 packs has a gem foil pack. There are 48 booster packs in a jumbo pack. So 17,500 packs divided by 48 jumbo packs, you need to buy 365 jumbo packs for a really high chance of getting one gem foil legendary. That is $140 each, which is $51,100 for one gem foil. And then there are 15 legendaries in the game. So with 15 legendaries, so you need to do it 50 times. So it's $51,000 for a chance of one gem foil. And you can't just buy, keep buying 365 packs of these and assume that you're gonna not get duplicates because you will get duplicates. If you guys watch my goblin video, I, I bought 24 goblins and I didn't I couldn't even get all seven. That's just the, the probability of things. You need to get a lot more. $51,000 per gem foil times 50 is 2.5 five million dollars to get every single gem foil and that's that's assuming that you can that they, they, they they're still in production once if someone tries to spend 2.5 million dollars on this oh my goodness it's 50 grand to get one gem foil <laughs> oh geez